Hi guys, here's 30 seconds of me shooting five different fully automatic firearms at Lock and Load Miami. If you want to stick around and hear more details about it, keep watching after, but if not, enjoy these 30 seconds. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded. I hope you guys had a great holiday break. Uh, Christmas, New Year's, Chinese New Year's, Valentine's Day. Now it's time to get back to business. I did get a new job at the beginning of the year, which I am super excited about, but I've been extremely busy with just making sure everything my lifestyle stays the same with the new job, uh, the dancing, the shooting, um, the gym, everything, all that jazz. Um, my eye is red and like 28 days later looking right now because I popped a vessel from yelling over the weekend so I apologize for that so kind of look a little nuts in this but um, I am really excited to share with you guys my experience at Lock and Load Miami which is a fully automatic uh, firearms indoor range in the Wynwood section of Miami. My girls and I went down there for a girls trip in December for Christy's birthday. Happy birthday girl. I know you're not going to see this um, but I still love you. <laughs> and uh, coincidentally, we were down there doing art basil, so while the girls were doing art stuff, because they don't care about the gun stuff, I went to do the gun stuff. I actually looked up this place on Yelp. I'll put everything in the link in the description below. Um, you can choose from like pre made packages, or you could kind of select um, firearms and build your own package, or you could select a package and then add on to the package. So that's kind of what I did. I think I did the. Um, the U.S. Uh, Special Forces um, package, and then I had an addendum to it. I'll show you right now. So here's my target. Um, most of it I kind of kept centered here. I thought I did pretty okay, especially for my first time. Distance-wise, I'd have to estimate or guesstimate between like 10 and 15 yards. In my package, I did the HK MP5, a, which is a 9mm, a 9mm Glock 18, the Chris USA submachine gun, which is a 45 ACP, and the HK416 and the FN Herstal Saw M249, which are both 5.56 by 45 NATO. Packages vary in uh, price from like maybe a buck fifty-ish to like five hundred-ish. It really depends on what you're um, going for for your experience. Now, the whole thing took me about an hour, and I dropped about like three hundred something dollars on it. Then again, I know it's super pricey. When are you going to shoot? full automatic like in your lifetime not very often I know I'm not so I didn't mind dropping a little bit of coinage on the experience and I also opted for the GoPro edition they have a GoPro hooked up in front of you to get like a, a view of you shooting and then you get to keep the memory card um, afterwards so it's nice um, again I'll put in the links to the page below as well as the uh, specifics of the package that I got and the pricing and everything. The video that I showed you before in the 30 seconds is just purely shooting, but the videos I'm going to show you um, after my whole spiel is going to be uh, one of the staff members, Fabian, hey, going through all of the firearms with me, including some of the specifications, like uh, how many rounds per minute, and uh, the significance in its use in like the military and things. So it's really, it's really, it was a really cool experience. Um, I would be absolutely happy to recommend them to people if you're in the area. Check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. I know I have a ton of comments that I have to go through and address in my previous videos, and um, I thank you for just being patient with me. I forgot to mention that at the end of it, they gave me this really cool coin. Um, Fabian said it's very similar to a coin that you get in the Marines. I'm not sure. I'm really sorry that I'm butchering the description right now, but it's it's a cute little. Um, so you can zoom in. It's a cute little panda who's got a pistol in each paw, even though he ain't got no thumbs. I'm sorry about my nails. They're black because I dyed my hair and now I can't. I, like, I ripped acrylic off of them and I dyed my hair and now they're stained and now I just look like a jackass. Without further ado, enjoy. Stop. All right, the road kid gets like a second shot. 
So keep it, keep it as tight as you can. You're going to see that red dot when you do see it. Uh, this is your safety feature. It's a trigger guard. Okay. You slide that down and it exposes the trigger. Okay. Wow. That, what's the, uh, what's the, um, so trigger it's about five pounds. Yeah, very stock. Yeah, this stock. Yeah, that's basically what happens. Yeah, that's what you're saying. You're standing up, right? Racking or whatever like that. Oh, right. Get that good aggressive shooting position. Wrap your thumb around that foregrip. This, this. Around just like that. Keep it as tight as you can. Slide that trigger guard down once you're ready. You see a red dot? Yeah. Chris Vector, are you familiar with it? I picked it. Oh, nice. A little American submachine gun. Now it's chambered in 45 ACP. It has a hell of a lot of stopping power to it. It has the same effective range of about 100 meters. Great for close quarters. You got two selectors. Okay, the first one's how you take the safety off. Look at that trigger. Okay. Now the second selector, okay, single fire. One click down is two round burst. And then one more click, that's the fun switch. Okay. Now the cycling oh, range is about 1,300 rounds per minute. This is okay, the so second fastest firearm. Yep. Okay, so keep it tight. Now it's driven on a huge right. bolt system, uh, which reduces wow. the recoil, and keeps it real flat, very okay. stable. In my opinion, it's real fun to shoot. Uh, just remember, keep it real tight. Don't forget to move into it. The red dot system. That thing is on. Remember, if you don't see this, don't shoot. Okay. Now you're loading. Okay. Strong hand, finger off the trigger, mag with the other. Feed in the mag one to your click. Tap it in, make sure it's seated correctly. This little button right here, this is your mag release. Okay, so when you get into your shooting position, try not to put your hand there. Most of the time, people hit that mag release, mag falls out. So go ahead and grab that foregrip. Okay, this is your bolt release. All right, once you insert that mag, press nice and tight, and then go ahead and load it for you. Okay, and to open the bolt, same concept, pull back, press the bolt. the ball open. All right, any questions? No. Your single fire, your safety's on. Let's push this guy back. That's a fold of the stock. That's not adjustable. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm all looking for it. Okay, no, I'm good. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. Okay. All right, so let's, let's do this first. Uh, go ahead and put that mag open that bolt. Knock it open. There it is. Now go ahead and insert that mag. Oh. There it is. Nice tap. Get that bolt release. Perfect. Ready to rock and roll. Take a step back from the bench so you can clear it. There you go. Good job. Keep it tight. Whenever you're ready, you can take that safety off. Mm. No, that's your selector. That's automatic. Let's start on single first. Okay. <laughs> this is your safety over here. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm right there. Okay. 
So click down, you'll see red. Oh, click down. Okay. There it is. Set. Two round bursts, give that a shot. For auto, let's do it. Keep it tight. Oh shit! <laughs> Very nice. Crazy flag release. Bolt. Nice. Open that bolt. There it is. He got it. He got it. Oh, that's nuts, yeah. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Wanna take a picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. This is the third generation of the M16, uh, which is was introduced in Vietnam. Uh, they introduced okay. the M4 towards the Gulf War, uh, which is standard issue in the U.S. military today. That's the second generation. Now the third generation is the HK416 Delta, uh, specifically designed for Delta Force in the U.S., uh, used by special forces. It's been remodified by Agent K and what they added to it, uh, what the piston system instead of direct impingement. Uh, direct impingement uh, is gas driven. Uh, this is piston driven, which allows two things. It keeps the receivers real clean, okay? It makes it more reliable. The other thing it allows it, it allows it to be completely submerged underwater. Oh, uh, you cool. can go for a nice swim with this bad boy, pop your head up, and go straight into go a firefight. Yeah. Yep. Uh, same farm though is used by Robo C team six. Uh, that's a guy who killed Osama bin Laden. I uh, killed him with a 416 Delta. Oh, the caliber size is 556 NATO. Uh, you're going to hear that. It sounds a little louder, it hits a little harder. And the inspector brings it about 600 meters. Uh, fun fact Rob O'Neill comes here about once a year. Oh, yeah. And he shoots these uh, that we have. Here. Oh, oh awesome. Uh, your selector is accessible with your thumb. Safety's on. One click down the single. Push that forward. Auto. The cycle is 850 rounds per minute, meets all three definitions of an assault rifle. So be aggressive with it. Okay? When you load it, same concept. Okay? Finger off the trigger, match with the other. And speed. Tap to make sure it's seated. Press the top portion of the bolt release to load it. You can use your thumb, you can make a fist, or you can smack the crap. Okay? Whatever you want. We'll load it for you. Enjoy it. For. A couple years. Yeah? Yeah. Can you tell? Yeah, <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Nice, good job. Okay. It's belt fed. Uh, you can link up a thousand rounds together, suppress fire downrange until you get rid of the enemy and he decides to go away. The other reason it's so lethal is the caliber size. The caliber is 5.56. Five, it's the same round that you just shot through the 4.16. But when you add some weight to it and the support of the bipod, you just pushed out your effective range yes. yep, to 800 meters. Uh, cycles automatic only, 750 rounds per minute. Um, in my opinion, the best way to shoot it, don't. Okay, hold on to that trigger, don't let go. Uh, let's go over to a loading process because it's pretty cool to load. This goes on your shoulder. Oh, 
phone. Just like that. Now, can you look inside that window? Can you see a red dot? Yeah. Am I lining that up with the front side? No. Forget about this guy here. Oh, word? Okay. okay. Yeah. Wherever you put that dot, that's where you're going to be shooting at. Is it too high for you? Because I could lower it. With the shoulder thing? Uh, no, I'll get you a little platform and we'll let it rest on the platform if it's too high. No, no, I got it. I got you it. got it? Right. Can this can this go down? We can no? actually bring this down. Like, we can close it. Oh, okay. That works, too. Does that work? Yeah, that's good. All right, perfect. Now, your left hand goes on the tube right here, and it stays there the whole time. You're going to do everything with your right hand. What? Okay? So let's go ahead and walk you through the loading process real what? quick. What? <laughs> That's all this. <laughs> all right, so right hand, you're going to pinch these two tabs and pull the cover up. Right hand? Mm -hmm. All right, now you're going to grab that charging hand, and pull back, and lock it forward. Now go forward all the way until you hear a click. Go for it. Forward. Oh. There you go. Now you oh, want to always check underneath the, uh, you want to check in the chamber, make sure there's not a round in. Okay, this is a shooting position. Yeah, you're good. There's nothing in there. Uh, oh, okay. You want to close this down, and from here, you want to go ahead and place that safety. Okay, safety's going to be right there. Push it in like a button. Nice and hard. There you go. Now safety's on. Okay. Okay. Uh, again, uh, you got 25 rounds. Sting cycle's automatic. Oh, that's only. how you feed it in. Oh, and go ahead and uh, close yeah. that cover. Go for it. I don't want to touch you. It's all right. Now give it a nice tap. Make a fist. There you go. Okay. Now go ahead and look for that red dot. You ready to rock and roll? Keep your left hand right in here. On that tube. Good. Okay. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and take that safety off. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty heavy. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, I'm psyching it. myself out. Okay. You got it, you got it. <sighs> it's real smooth. Oh, that's too fun. Oh, that's my favorite. No. <laughs> and it's over now. Uh, let's clear that. Okay, so left hand stays here. Mm -hmm. Left hand, put it here. Right hand, open that cover. All the way up. There's going to be some links. Yep, swipe them off. Grab that card in, pull back, and forward to your click. Place your safety on. Look underneath that. Look underneath this tray right here. Oh, right, right, right. Chamber's clear. It's all good. Now squeeze that trigger. Go for it. All right, safety works. Good job. You just did a complete functions check. Go ahead and close that. Oh, you don't dry fire this? No, that, I mean you cleared it. That was and it. And of course you want to check that if the safety works. Okay. So that was a complete oh, dry okay. fire. I mean a complete. Oh, a, uh, cool. Yeah. Go ahead and close that cover. You want me to tell you the only bad thing about the saw? No. There you go. Oh, you gotta, it's heavy. You got to carry that. Oh, Not only do you got to carry that, a basic combat load is about a thousand rounds. Uh, oh, two barrels, dear. flat jacket, sappy plates, Kevlar, backpack. After a good hike or a, a few months or two, this guy, the gunner, uh, you don't want to talk to him too long. Um, and the reason is because he's always pissed off. And he's that's carrying all this why. shit. Yeah. I'd be too. Yeah. What the hell is this? So it comes with a quick barrel release. So if you're in a firefight and you know, you're know you just shooting around suppressing fire, enemy's not going away, this barrel is going to get hot. It's been seen oh, that it gets so oh. hot that it actually turns red. Now you don't want to let it turn red, uh, red because you'll ruin the barrel. So it has a little quick, uh, quick latch right here. right? Oh, so nice. if you press this in, There goes your Shit, barrel. Swap out the barrel, put a new one on, a little faster than this, oh, that is and you're nice. back in the fire. Oh. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, too cool. Those Belgians, man, they know what they're doing over there. Do you do you care if I like manipulate this for Go a couple for more minutes? Because uh, I don't I don't get to handle this very often, like at all. So yeah. Fine, fine machine right there. This is super fun to shoot. I like it, huh? I think this might be my favorite of the day. This is all of my favorites. I was kind of really getting carried away with the character of a 28 days later rage virus infected. So let me see. Is this creeping you out? Alright, alright, hang on.
I was annoying the shit out of Jesse when I was doing the sim. Let me see if I can freak you out. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm done. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. Oh my god.